and welcome. I'm Tim, and today we're going to be discussing the Patek Philippe 5496P Perpetual Calendar Retrograde. You can see this Platinum Perpetual Calendar Retrograde on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time to see our full listing for this watch with additional photographs, accessories included, and naturally, complete pricing details. On my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, the watch has impressive presence without being excessively large or thick, and that's in spite of a perpetual calendar, a retrograde mechanism, and automatic winding. Now, the watch from nine to three measures 39.5 millimeters. In terms of thickness, it's quite viable with a tight sleeve or dress cuff, being only 11.5 millimeters thick with a generously sloped conical bezel. And from lug to lug, it's a fairly compact 48 millimeters. Perhaps a bit large for a formal Patek Philippe, but quite compact by modern standards and very much in line with traditional dress watch proportions. Now you do feel it on the wrist because it's platinum and the diamond set between the lugs and the two pusher correctors attests to that. There's impressive mass on the wrist. You don't forget that you're wearing a special watch, whether you're looking at it or just cognizant of the weight on your forearm. Now the watch does have a fairly traditional but very handsome dark navy blue rectangular scale alligator leather strap with slight bolstering and a monotone navy blue stitch. Now you can see that it does include Patek Philippe's pull tabs, so you can easily release the strap on both sides should you want to clean the case thoroughly or simply swap shoes and change the look of the watch. Now it is paired with a beautiful Calatrava cross, almost filigree style Calatrava cross, atop a single fold deployant clasp which is made with 950 platinum to match the case itself. It adds a nice counterweight to the bottom side of the watch so it doesn't have a tendency to want to capsize across your wrist. Again, that's what you want in terms of ergonomics. And because of the conventional straight spring bars, albeit with the pull tabs, you can bend the strap down and around the tight curve of a smaller wrist. Now the 5496 debuted at Basel World 2011 and all of the essential cues of the watch, the apertures for the moon phase, the leap year cycle, the month, and the day, nicely counterbalance the watch, giving it a sort of cruciform, one might say, handsome balance, one might say, bilateral symmetry, vertical symmetry. It's an unusual portrayal of a perpetual calendar for Patek Philippe, which is principally known for portraying perpetuals in terms of subdials with radial displays. It's a very offbeat watch in that sense, a little bit quirky. This is Patek's idea of a nod and a wink to the unconventional. Now, the watch does feature another element that's a little bit offbeat, and that is the use of a central rotor automatic in a perpetual calendar. In general, the Patek perpetuals are powered by the Caliber 240 micro rotor and its derivatives. So this watch, which definitely breaks the mold in terms of Patek Philippe Grand complications, is nevertheless quite handsome with polished white gold dart indices and Dauphine hands at center. You can see that the retrograde track featuring the date is slightly sunken into the dial. There's a little bit of guilloche there to add depth and texture. Likewise, there's a step down to each of the apertures. They aren't simply vertical cuts through the silver dial. They have a little bit of a transition that makes the jump down from the dial to the disc more gradual, more handsome, easier on the eye. And the dial itself is quite distinctive, although I'm not sure that it's entirely visible in the light box. It has a beautiful vertical satin finish, almost like stainless steel, with a gorgeous silver tone that really catches the light and plays with it. The watch is very dynamic. Now that Caliber 324 based movement, uh, 324 is Patek Philippe's premier central rotor automatic. It features both the retrograde mechanism as well as the perpetual calendar and the moon phase, which is a 122.7 year moon phase. It also features unidirectional winding for a more efficient winding action. Tests have shown that is more efficient than bidirectional. It also uses unlubricated ceramic rotor bearings, the better to keep that system sealed and maintenance free for life. Now it does feature Patek Philippe's traditional Gyromax style balance, which is quite handsome in addition to being superbly efficient at reducing shock-induced and vibration-induced timing variations. Now you can also see that all of the bridges are mirror polished on their edge, although the watch bears the later Patek Philippe seal rather than the traditional Poinçon de Genève, there is no diminution of quality from the screws, which I always like to say are 20 Swiss franc screws, to the beautiful and even 
Cote de Genève across the bridges and the circular fashion of the same treatment across the golden winding rotor. This is everything you would have expected in the tradition of the old Geneva Hallmark and very much in keeping with Patek Philippe's modern standards of finish which per the Patek Philippe seal now encompass case, dial, strap, buckle, not just movement. The watch is exceedingly handsome. It's sporty, but it's not a sports watch. With 3 ATM water resistance, you're going to want to strap on a Nautilus or an Aquanaut for fun in the sun and below the waves, but for all other occasions, this is a versatile, handsome, and technologically commanding watch. 39.5 millimeters, it wears bigger with an outsized persona and charisma. You can see this unconventional Patek Philippe Perpetual Calendar Retrograde and buy it on our website.